Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Modernize Build for Project Managers webinar. We are very pleased that you have taken the time to join us for this session. For today's webinar, we will be focusing on how different industry professionals and project teams can improve their collaboration by means of hang it, hanging, having a single source of truth. Please take note of the following. This webinar will be recorded and will be available on our Moderna website as well as our YouTube channel. There will be a Q&A session afterwards, so please feel free to share your questions with us in the chat box. Next slide, Dina. All right, so can I begin? Yes, you back can begin. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Welcome, everybody. Thank you again for taking out this time to come watch our webinar. We really do appreciate that, uh, that our clientele would like to see what is new, improved, and what is the latest when it comes to the Autodesk product range. Uh, before we begin, a bit of introductions from my side. Uh, as I say, you know, you need a face to the names. So you are looking at me. I am Dino Kapik. That's how you spell it and how you say it. So almost like Dino Kapish, but Dino Kapik is fine as well. I am a Moderna AEC applications engineer, as well as one of the in-house BIM managers. The lady on the call as well is Dominique Janssen van Rensburg. She is our AEC strategic account manager. And today we are going to be presenting the Autodesk Construction Cloud Service under build known as project management. So the idea now is that we want to include project management into the sphere that is the BIM standards and protocols. So it's not just really for engineers, architects, and contractors, but for project management as well. So before we begin, there is a webinar agenda to look out for. One of the first topics we are going to cover is the context of this webinar. So why are we looking at a BIM standard when sharing, collaborating, and coordinating data? We are then going to go through the following features, the document management features, the issue management features or reporting features, and then, of course, scheduling features within the cloud space that is the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Next, we want to also see what other services connect to the already existing cloud service. So for those of you who are on the call who are not PMs, look out for this one, because you might actually have the product that can connect with these other products on a project itself. When we have a bit of time, we will go through a bit of a Q&A session. So we will open up the mics and the uh, uh, chat box for everybody to come talk to us. We do want to hear what you have to say. So let's start at the beginning. When we talk about collaborative or collaboration in construction, we know it is there. However, it is fragmented. Now, I'd like to talk a bit more about how the industry fragment, uh, fragmentation directly impacts many of the construction outcomes. One, a typical construction project is made of multiple teams across all phases of the project life cycles. Owners, general contractors, subcontractors, engineers, architects, all use different systems and platforms. And that's no matter what phase of construction we're in, design, plan, build, or operate. In fact, 25% of construction companies use five or more different software applications which make integration and communication harder and limits the project data usage. Now let's add on top of that. Communication within a team can happen through various formats, including paper. Actually, more than 70% of the global construction industry is still working from a traditional paper-based process. So what we are getting at the end of the day is still isolated silos of data buildup that are not seamlessly transitioning from one phase of construction to the next. And then on top of that, 
The, this issue has an even added layer of complexity when we start considering the different type of communications between the teams. So the way to look at it is no matter how much we grow in the industry, we seem to never really collaborate due to the fragmented silos or the silo approach of storing data on different platforms at different stages of the entire project life cycle. So what would be the solution? And that's not just for the architect or the contractor or the client or the facilities manager. We're also considering now developers, project managers, and so forth. So our solution is simple and clear. We need a workflow that connects workflows, teams, and data at every stage of construction. The idea here is we bring every product team together from design, planning, building, as well as operations for a turnover on a single construction software solution. So the idea is we all are working together. We connect our workflows, we collaborate in a secure location from what we understand as the single source of truth instead of divided silos of data. Now, as project managers, you've seen these items start appearing in the industry. So let's start. But the major question is, but where do we start? Where do we fit in as project managers? How can we feed into the life cycle data of the project? So just a bit of a recap. According to the BIM standards, the current trend and standard is progressing in South Africa. So we see a great rise in BIM implementations. No matter what level we're on, somebody's trying to run a BIM level project. The concept of a common data environment is taking shape. Our traditional teams and even the new teams like a BIM team are connecting linking and communicating through the common data environment or CDE. But it's not only for these teams. Project management can easily feed into the common data environment and link their processes and workflows to the project. Keep in mind that we are not going from design, storing up the data and using that data during that phase and then going into construction. The data from the designing phase to construction phase to handover is seamlessly one approach, one bubble where we keep track of all this information. So it only makes sense for project management to be a part of that same workflow. So let's talk about the first item under the Autodesk Build platform, Autodesk Docs. This is the starting point for every BIM project. This is the common data environment. You are storing all your data in the cloud. So why should we use docs as project management? Well, the first item is that we maintain document control. It's a structured document control process, ensures the right information is in the right hands keeping project teams in sync and on track. And those are two very important items. We are in sync with our project team and we are in track because we have a means to control the documentation. ACC or Autodesk Construction Cloud makes document controls simple. It's robust access and permission tool sets and customizable sharing options eliminate the risk of working with the wrong information because we are working from one single source of truth, and that truth is always the latest information. Another reason why we should be using docs is aligning teams with proper version controls. So it's an integral part of us to keep construction projects organized and teams in alignment with one another. Document versioning helps with sharing and distributing new versions of the model and drawing and keeping everyone on the exact same page. Maintain version control automatically as changes are published. View previous versions 
and compare versions to each other, regardless if they are 2D drawings or 3D models. And on top of that, have access to over 50 different file viewers from Revit, AutoCAD, Navisworks, and even your Microsoft viewers like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Leverage the powerful tool that is Autodesk Docs as a common data environment, not just to store information, but to view information, to talk to the information. Another reason we should be utilizing Docs is that there's a standardized document approval workflow. So we are not looking at now separate workflows that we need to integrate to, but all of our workflows now integrate to this one platform because we standardize the process. So the idea here now is that we facilitate control, automate, review, and distribute all project drawings, models, and documents before publishing and sharing with them to the project team or even the construction team or the client. With robust tools for reviewing, commenting on, approving documents, and support for key industry standards, you can confidently distribute approved documents. And again, this is all leveraged from that one common data environment. So I don't have to go to another consultant's FTP or this consultant's server. We are all coordinating, collaborating from one single source of truth. And here's the fourth and main reason we should be on docs. It's an unlimited data storage. I'm not capped within the document platform uh, within Autodesk Construction Cloud. I have the freedom to upload as much as possible. And I'm not restricted to one project. I can carry on creating projects and keep on filling up that unlimited space. So that is the document controlled environment, or as we like to put it, the common data environment. So here's another quick feature we as project management can utilize on this common data environment, reporting tools. So we have analytical data from the common data environment. What do I mean by analytical data? I'm talking about cognitive data, data that speaks back to you, data that is telling you how often a company, a role, an individual has viewed an item, has left an item open, and so on. So it's not a means of us just storing the data, but the data is now telling us what's happening with it. So features that are included within the analytical format of the common data environment are we can reduce constructability issues on site. Keep in mind that it's not just on site, it's also digital items. So think about a physical snag and a digital snag that can take place. Avoid costly reworks by identifying the constructability issues in the pre-construction phase and by empowering all trades to detect and re resolve clash. So we have automated clash detection we have the ability to create physical snag issues and the ability to create digital snag issues. We keep track of this information. Another item to look forward to is standardized quality control. The idea here is we standardize quality of inspection and its processes. We resolve issues faster and reduce the rework behind those items. Digital construction quality checklists will ensure your entire team can access and conform to a quality of standards using any device anywhere. So that's your laptop, your cell phone, and your tablets. So during inspections, use your devices to add notes, signatures, photos, generate issues. And keep in mind, we link these issues to incomplete tasks in the forms. So the moment you have a checklist and the forms are not available or the item hasn't been checked because of an issue, directly create an issue that links back to that task. We have the, also the ability to control project management activities. What do I mean by this? Well, what if we were running RFIs? 
we clearly designate who is responsible for each step of the RFI and submittals. So within this process that has been improved, our communication skills have improved alongside it. But remember, we are still in the common data environment. Nothing's changed. So instead of not just storing data, coordinating data, collaborating data, we are communicating through the data itself. And we can make better decisions efficiently. So we initiate the request and the managed reviews from any device, link issues, documents, and RFIs to meetings to allow faster accountable resolution. By the way, again, link issue forms and more to all your RFIs. But the cream on top of this particular cake when it comes to reports is the fact that we have a history activity log to all activities on the project. In essence, we as project managers, we need to know. We want to know when certain items were uploaded, when certain schedules were updated, when an issue has been created versus its closeout. That information has historical backing on the common data environment as well. Now, a third item to look into is schedules. So not only are we reporting within the common data environment, but now we can start structuring schedules around our construction phases. The idea is construction schedules are now in the cloud. We leverage information from the CDE into the schedules. So keep projects on track by connecting to the common data environment. And the first way we do this is we do a real-time access to the latest schedule. We improve collaboration and increase transparency by centralizing all scheduled information on a single cloud-based platform. Remember, common data environment being Autodesk Docs. When teams rely heavily on paper printouts and statistics PDFs, miscommunication and misalignment around the schedules often result. And those cause frustration within the project and can lead to costly delays, reputations that go down, and of course, time being wasted. With the centralized scheduling ecosystem, project team members have access to the latest information. With a robust permission control set, you are in control of who gets to see what and when. So you can ensure the right information stays in the right hands. Another item is that we can connect and integrate our workflows. So to improve communication across the team members, to avoid unsuspecting schedule delays, by managing all schedules, activities, we do this in the cloud. So remember, we are all working in the cloud now. It's not just PMs, but contractors, subcontractors, engineers, designers, consultants. We are all feeding to this cloud-based platform. We are all sharing our data around the project lifecycle. So when we are running these schedules, we have the ability to choose between a Gantt chart or a list view or a combination of the two. We can visualize tasks milestones, and dependencies. Project teams can seamlessly link references such as photos, files, sheets, assets, and even cost items to the schedule. So we provide the necessary context to make a data-driven decision by adding all this additional information. Thirdly, Access information anytime, anywhere, regardless if you are in the office, on site, on holiday, or even taking a short trip in your car, or let's say in a bus. The idea is we have the ability to utilize today's technology to interlink back into the cloud. We instantly share the digital schedule with the field teams for real-time updates instead of using clunky PDFs that become outdated. And I'm sure you guys want to hear that phrase. Look, I sent you the email, but I didn't get it. Not anymore. Not with the construction cloud software that Autodesk provides. So construction schedules are made up of thousands of activities. And as a result, shifting through printouts 
on a job site can become a bit tedious. So with a digitalized schedule at the fingertips of your device, your field team can quickly search and filter through thousands of activities to locate desired items. So that comes now from the access to information. And on top of that, Autodesk Build comes with a cost management feature. The idea here now is we are in construction. The close connection between cost and time means they significantly impact each other. And they will. So leveraging the integration with cost management to connect the project schedule to the project budget, we can do that now because of the tool sets Autodesk provides through Autodesk Build. Again, management tools in Autodesk Build, project teams can link budget items to schedules, tasks, and better visualize cost spending based on timelines. Autodesk Build is not just a single line product in the cloud provided by Autodesk. There are several tool sets that do connect with those utilizing the build package. For example, services that connect to Autodesk Build are Autodesk Docs. Everybody who runs an Autodesk cloud-based solution from ACC has access to the document control environment because again, that is our common data environment. Regardless if I'm hosting the project or a separate consultant hosts the project, we can bring our licenses to that project, not a problem. Autodesk BIM Collaborate helps those in the designing phase of the project interlink their robust software tools like Revit, Plan 3D, Civil 3D, AutoCAD, Navisworks. Because of these tool sets and Autodesk BIM Collaborate, we can collaborate in Revit and we can coordinate all our other drawings and softwares. Again, there is a live clash detection in BIM Collaborate tool that is still underutilized, but we are seeing more and more utilizing it even more so. What it is built has additional features apart from project management. There are field management items, there are cost management items and quality management items that can be utilized from the build package. And then for those of you who are quantifying, there's an Autodesk takeoff tool now as well. When we quantify of 2D drawings and 3D models. So these are just a handful of elements that do connect with Autodesk Build. And because Autodesk Build or Autodesk Cloud Construction or Construction Cloud is an open API tool, you can even integrate your own third party applications. So I've spoken quite a bit here today. I'm sure some of you do have questions. So we are opening up the chats. If there are any questions, please do share with us. Thank you so much, Dino, for sharing that inf informative information with us. Um, what I would like to maybe from my side ask, um, this is what I've been hearing from professionals in the industry. And some of these questions are, is how would you track cost within Autodesk Build? If you can maybe elaborate on that for us. So it's actually fantastic. Uh, Autodesk Build, we see a lot of contractual teams utilizing it and some consultants and engineers because they like to run forms and issue checklistings. However, there is a little modular in build called cost, and it helps you leverage your costs on site with what you were doing within the project. So you can now start doing costing on a cloud-based scale for your project itself. It does come with the build package. Previously, it used to be known as BIM360 cost, which was sold separately through to BIM360 build, for example. Wonderful. Yeah. And then, uh, Dominique, if I may just ask, was there something that you particularly liked from uh, what you saw in Build? Something you want to see more in the industry? Definitely. And I think that's my question would be to what I've been wondering about is the RFI submittals. I know um, professionals have mentioned that this is quite something that's a tedious process and it does take up a lot of time. Um, would you say that Audit is Build will help 
with this process to streamline it a bit more? So we've seen the utilization of Autodesk builds RFIs now currently because it is a new product range, but it holds legacy from the BIM 360 build RFI legacy, which has been now improved on. Now, when it comes to the RFIs within ACC build itself, sorry, Autodesk build, my mistake, is that we don't necessarily just have to write an RFI with all the information, for example, cost and drawings and designs. It might be small little RFI items that just re uh, require a approval, a comment, or some type of communication, and we still open up those RFIs. And on top of that, we can open up as many RFIs as possible in the cloud uh, space. And we can report on RFIs, by the way, so it's not we reporting on one. If a consultant hosts about 15 RFIs, we can run a single line report for that consultant himself, just to see which RFIs are still outstanding versus the current new RFIs. Thank you so much, Gina. Yes, that, that is quite informative. And thank you so much for elaborating on that. Let mm -hmm. me quickly see if we've got any questions from our guests. Um, so just another question from my side, and that's um, from a property management to a facilities management point of view, um, what will what access will these will these uh, professionals have um, in terms of, you know, when it comes to materials or equipment, um, what access would they have? Ah, so with the Autodesk build, uh, and we did do this previously on other webinars, and we're more than happy to demo it again if you reach out to us. There is an assets tracking tool within build, and it helps those in the development part or facilities management part who are linking physical assets to a data asset. So let's take, for, for example, a pump station that was installed on property. That pump station comes with a guarantee, with a design, with a detail. And previously, what we've seen before in other softwares is we link that up, but there has to be a unique code and this and that before we get that much information. Whereas now in the Autodesk build platform, we have an asset tree listing that can be linked to the drawings, the details. We can run our own customized naming conventions. That information can be leveraged within the build package. So I do see that there are two questions here from an anonymous attendee. Uh, number one, can the build platform work with photos? Yes, the build platform does work with photos. The feature comes with uh, strictly the build platform. It doesn't come on the docs or collaboration side. Uh, and then the other one, does geolocation tags work? Unfortunately, there are no geolocating tags in build. There is the stock standard Google map. So your project is tagged by the map location. So if you are strict with your, let's say, street address, province, and country, it will then bring that out in a map for you. However, you can leverage other applications to help you geotag a photo, for example, that you're uploading to ACC or Autodesk Um, And then just... Um Another follow-up question is, in line with the asset tags, does it work with QR codes? There is, uh, what's it, an opening now for the QR code item. It was a little bit finicky at the very beginning, but there has been several improvements now. We've seen a massive improvement within the build platform itself. One of the features I, I wanted to show you was also progress tracking. But yes, QR codes is something that can, uh, that can be done. Uh, by the bold package. Wonderful, thanks, Dino. Um, let me see if there's any more questions. Oh, there is one other thing I, I wanted to ask. Uh, for all of you who have joined, we are genuinely interested to know who you are, what you're doing, what company you work for, so we can see exactly what type of webinars we should be presenting. So I know a lot of you should be project managements here, but even if you are in the engineering, construction, designing fields, we want to reach out and we want to see if we can better the current softwares that you have, or even better the use of, let's say, the current softwares you are utilizing from Autodesk. So you can write that in the chat box. It is uh, up to you, but we, we do hope to, to hear from you. 
Wonderful. Thanks so much, Dino. Um, let me see if there's one or two questions that are still coming through. Um, here's another question. With regards to reports and templates, how customizable are they and are they standard templates? So in terms of the customization, if we're looking at checklists, checklists follow a very standardized reporting method. You can go create any customizable item line. Uh, for example, if we're doing a water meter checklist, uh, has the water beam, meter been installed, we can add that item. We can then reference photos, comments, uh, details, issues to that one item line. Uh, then we can go to the next item line and ask the next question. Is there any leaks, for example, with the same features? And keep in mind that with your checklistings, you can even divide it up into sections. So section one deals with the project information, section two deals with the water meter information, and section three deals with signatures, for example, just to sign out on that checklist. The RFIs have a strict standard template to follow. There are questions you need to fill out, but because of these template structures that we have in place, reporting takes up to five, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how many items you are reporting on. Instead of taking two days to a week to consolidate that information and write the report in Excel, we simply do it by two clicks of a button in ACC. Great, thanks so much, Dino. Um, I do see we are getting quite a lot of um, interaction in terms of um, different uh, professionals we have on this call or this webinar today. Thanks so much, guys, Absolutely. for sharing that with us. All right, um, so before we close out, uh, there are just a few more items to look at. If you guys did not get the chance to ask us any questions, or if you want to reach out to us for more demos on the project management side, especially for scheduling, document management, or even progress tracking that we didn't get to showcase today. Let's come to you and give you a more in-depth demo on the product line itself. So if you are looking to get a hold of Dominique in sales, that is her email address there. If you are looking for any technical queries around the software itself, there's my email address. And if you want to talk to somebody on the phone, there's our telephone number. So I'll leave that on for a bit. So again, sales is Dominique at moderna-ac.coza. Technical is Dino at moderna-ac.coza. And our telephone number is below. Now, just to close out, when it comes to construction within the industry or within the project lifecycle itself, we want to actually be going from design to plan to building and operations seamlessly in one common data environment instead of having separate siloed approaches. And because we are partnered with Autodesk, we give out some of the best product lines and trainings that can be seen within the industry today. Because honestly, we think in the manner of like the Mandalorian, this is the way. And we are looking for those changes because of that specific way. Thank you guys again, and we hope to hear from you soon. Wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Have a good day.